Hello everyone, I have something special for you today. First of all, we have my hand-built Minecraft chest. Inside of it, you wonder? Same thing you would keep in any Minecraft chest. Your building materials. Right here, I have stone brick stairs. Kind of hard to see from that angle. I also have slabs, mostly for roofs. Um, I only have just enough to build a house in this box. Uh, I also have logs, a number of other things I'm going to be showing you guys in a moment. Uh, I'm going to take a moment though to unpack all this and then we're going to get building. Over here we have our cobblestone cubes which are going to be used for mostly filler. Uh, over here we have our oak logs which are going to be used for the structural support beams. Then we have our uh, stone brick stairs and uh, slabs over here for mostly the roof. Uh, then we also have our uh, oak planks over here for the walls and such. Over here we have our decorative items, such as a bed, a workbench, uh, mostly just things we're going to use to decorate the inside with. And then over here we have our glass cubes. Unfortunately, uh, I could not find clear plastic cubes, or even glass ones for that matter, like actual cubes. Um, and I couldn't make them myself, so I had to settle for these. They're kind of garden decorative ones. They're not even like full cubes, which disappointed me, but they're square enough to get the job done. Um, once I find a better solution, we're going to be replacing those, first of all. Anyway, over here, I also have my chest, which I kind of want to show off. Completely built by hand. I uh, actually just bought a big, like, just a, a sheet of birchwood, I believe it was. And birchwood is normally really white, hence in game why it's pretty light colored. So I had to hand stain it myself till it was a nice orange color, just like in Minecraft. Then I just painted on the edge, uh, then just put on the uh, crap, the latch for it. The inside, pretty spacious. I want to say about six and a half inches, uh, pretty much six by six. That way I can fit all my blocks in and have a little space over just in case they came out a little bigger than I wanted. But yeah, that's my chest. I actually built two of these already. I think the next one I build is going to be a double chest so we can fit more stuff in it. So move that out of the way for now. First, we're going to be building the foundation. So we're going to have three right here, one right here, and we're actually going to use one of these to help us keep that one inch space for the door later. This is going to be the front of the house. I'm going to be building it facing the camera. Then we're going to be building the support beams on the sides, which I believe are too high. Well, not too high as in, yeah, two as in TWO, so yeah. Also, a few things I thought people might want to ask about this, so you guys don't have to go to the comments. Um, is this paper craft? First of all, no, it's not. Uh, I took the time to hand make each one of these, not actually like carving them or decorating them or painting them myself. Uh, I took one inch wooden cubes, I ordered a crap ton of these, by the way, um, and pretty much printed out all the textures from Minecraft and simply pasted them onto the little inch, one inch cubes. Uh, cutting them alone was a pain, let alone pasting all of them by hand. Each one of these easily took about five, ten minutes, but I had a lot of free time one day. So anyway, um, the other thing is, uh, printing out the textures wasn't as simple as it sounds either because I had to resize everything so it actually fit the blocks and then make it where it fit and worked properly. Okay, that looks square enough. What do you guys think? Pretty good, uh, d considering I don't have a grid like an actual Minecraft, although that would help. Maybe some kind of ruler. I think I may have one, but too late for that. Okay, next we're going to be putting a block here and here, and then fill this in just because it would be weird having a window right next to the door. So we're going to have this right here, and then we're going to take our, gra our glass block and put it about in the middle. So it looks kind of like a pane. You can see through it, it works. Uh, next, we're going to take one of these. This is a small sheet of plexiglass that I cut. Um, plexiglass is kind of like plastic glass. It's bendable, flexible, etc. Anyway, so um, anyway, this stuff I'm using for support right now since, you know, again, physics are a pain in the butt. But anyway. We're going to take a few of these, because our door is going to go right here. So we need something to put the blocks on when we start building up. So first of all, 
can't remember if I needed, I think one more up, but first, actually, I forgot. We need to do the windows on the sides, which, uh, I try scooting this a little closer and angling it down just a little so. Basically just putting the rest of the windows on the sides now. And since they have a flat edge, they do work, they just don't work as well as I would like. We're going to go ahead and decorate the inside, which, uh, let me just lift this up a little bit. That should be good enough. Just prop it up against my desk. We're going to take our bed first. Just put it right here in the corner. And then, we're going to take our three bookshelves, put them in this corner. That way you have it right next to your bed for something to read. After this, I'm, well, after I'm finished the inside and a little bit of the outside, before I do the roof, I'm going to show the inside. Then we're going to take our cake, because what's a home without a nice, delicious cake? Put that right there. Then we're going to take our chest first, put that right next to the door. Then we're going to take our furnace, put it in the middle, so you, ooh, <laughs> so you have somewhere to cook things. And then we'll finally take our crafting table, which actually has different <laughs> textures, even on the bottom and such. Uh, and we're going to put this in the corner, finally. And then we're going to take these. Oh, these first. Those like so. And then we're just going to put these in the middle. Uh, more in the middle than on the edge, or else they'll fall more. Okay. There we go. Um, actually, let me get my other things first. Oops. Plexiglass pieces. Put them over the windows. And this one seems a little shorter for some reason. Well, as long as it holds, it should be fine. Just scrunch it, scrunch it together a little. I don't think that will work, but we'll see. Must have cut it too short. Okay, let's uh, take my camera off this little stand and show you guys around. Okay. Here's just a different angle, really. Here's the inside of the house. Right here is going to be the front door, but we're going to get to that in a moment. On the inside, we have our bed our bookshelves and our cake and then on the other side we have our chest furnace and crafting table so that's the inside of our home uh, I wanted to get a piece of paper kinda like I used for the grass right here uh, basically just repeating textures of the grass and I wanted to do it uh, for the floor on the inside or maybe some carpet but I forgot to do it uh, so we'll go ahead put this back Okay, so we have everything we need now. Now we need to do the roof. Uh, first of all, I believe it's like such. So, um, I built this house in Minecraft before I actually am building it now, so I don't remember entirely what I need to do, but we'll we'll get to it. Actually. I need these as well, but I think these are going to go on top of that. So yeah, we should be fine. Ooh, drop that. And I didn't even mean to. Okay. That's a good enough view, I think. Yeah, we're just doing stuff for now. Nothing overly important. Okay. I think we only need two of these. I don't know why I have a spare. I think I might have made one extra for some reason or another, but we'll not worry about that for now. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our slabs on. Actually, I'm going to a stickler, so let's make sure they're all facing the right way. There we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the back real quick. Hopefully speedfully. Speed hastily. That's a better word. Be careful with the plexiglass because it, it does make it a little wobbly. And then we're done with the first thing of the roof. 
you guys can see it pretty well, I think. Yeah, that makes it look like it's part of it. So basically just have little support beams, these little things sticking out. I think that looks good for now. Okay. So now, we're going to fix this. Uh, we need our big plexiglass pieces. And what we're going to do is simply move that and then drape these across the top. Granted, this is a home project, keep in mind, and I'm no expert by any means in any number of the fields required to make this good. But we're making it anyway. Okay, then afterwards, it's pretty quick and easy. We're just going to continually line these up. And this is where I mentioned before we're going to use these as fillers. Just place them across here, except not screwing up, preferably. I think that's actually more than enough. So I only need five. And then again, we're just going to place these across the top. We'll straighten them out after we place them. And then here. Almost done. Keep dropping these. Oh crap, I was pressing against the plexiglass. Um, let's lift you up, little guy. There we go. Push these together so it makes more of a straight line, because these are going to be a little lopsided, unfortunately. And push these in a little more to help match. And then lastly, simply place these on top. I don't care about these facements so much. Okay. And there you have a nice... Oops. Forgot about that. Also, door. Uh, I made a small little door, kind of, by basically taping the texture between two pieces of plexiglass. Unfortunately, I had the base and it kind of broke off, so we're going to just try to... Wiggle this in here, and then, actually, probably be easier to go in at an angle. So I'll press this in here, and then press these blocks against it to hold it in. And there we go, we actually have a door! Oh, I just realized the textures aren't lining up, but it isn't too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this off again to show you guys kind of around the house. So yeah, you can see right here, kind of on the inside, you can't really see through the glass, unfortunately. Of course, you don't actually have to use the glass, it just helps. Uh, you could just put the piece of plexiglass and have it over there, like a blank area. But yeah, this is my nice little Minecraft house. And lastly, but not least, Lee, we have to decorate the outside, too. Unfortunately, we can't do too much about that, considering trees are pain. Um, but I do have something else over here, which I'm gathering right now. Uh, first of all, these, <laughs> pretty much everything about this is a work in progress, and I'm slowly trying to modify and figure out better ways to do it, but first of all, I have these. Uh, basically little tall grass textures, because you can't have just flat texture on the ground. That's boring. Uh, basically what I did is I took the Minecraft grass texture, the tall grass, I printed it out on a piece, a piece of clear paper, which exists, and it's not really a paper, more like a plastic film, but uh, anyway, I cut them, put little slits in them, and put two of them, so they kind of do a T-shape, kind of like an actual Minecraft, where they're not, not like a bush, they're just kind of like a T. So then we just place these right here in front of the house. And you have a little grass, then we also have... These things are a pain to put together, so give me a moment. Uh, we also have rows right by the door, and then, oh, also the T-shape helps props them up. We also have ferns, which uh, just put over here, oops, except that one didn't fold properly and fell. There we go. Pull this back out a little more. 
There you go. Uh, we also have... Where is all of them? A little red mushroom, which is... There we go. Little red mushroom that we're going to put on top of our house because we haven't cleaned it in a while and it's growing mushrooms now. So yeah, I have a bunch more of these, but I, I think you guys get the gist of it. Uh, currently, right now, I am working on action figures for Minecraft where you can actually put armor on them, let them hold weapons and stuff. Also, proportionate to the size. So you can actually, you know, fit them in there. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out better ways to do the blocks and everything. Uh, originally, I thought magnets would work really well, but I also realized putting magnets in each and every one of them would require a much higher expense, and again, I'm doing this all completely out of my own pocket. So, it would require much more money, as well as time and effort to make each one. And even then, even with the most powerful magnets, which again cost even more than your standard wiki ones, um, makes it a lot harder and more expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm still, still definitely working on that, and I'm also working on redstone. Uh, actual working redstone. But that is also a bigger endeavor. But besides that, uh, the next thing I'm going to be working on is a much bigger project. Instead of just a house, maybe something bigger, like a castle or a town. So yeah, give me, give me your suggestions. I will make more blocks, and hopefully I can build something even cooler. So uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.